Greetings, my friends. Welcome to this week's home church sermon. It's a place where we gather to hear the Lord's word, to hear the end times news. And it's a place where all are welcome, saved and unsaved. I don't take up offerings. I don't ask for your money. I ask for nothing but your time to hear what the Lord has given me, to reflect and contemplate in your heart and draw closer to Jesus Christ every day. We're two or three gathered together. In Jesus Christ's name, the Holy Spirit's here. This is a real church. He is here big time. Thousands gather every weekend. And this is just, it's, it's my pleasure. It's, it's a blessing to have you in my congregation. <clears throat> this is a real church. I'm not a fake watered down church like so many are. This is the real deal. All for Jesus and all for his glory. Had a sermon ready for this weekend. I might put it out tomorrow as a, as a bonus sermon, but this is a, a, a urgent one. It came to me in my dreams last night. Here we go. I had a series of 50 rapture dreams and visions over an eight-year period kept coming bang 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 over and over again jesus was just showing me opening the doors and showing me in a, in a series of quick rapture dreams i felt in my spirit that i wouldn't have any more until the rapture was truly imminent and upon us it's been two years since i've had my last one last night i had the rapture dream of all rapture dreams i was sleeping this one lasted hours instead of minutes I was sleeping and the dream started. My wife and I were just doing stuff like we normally do. We were out and about together doing things, having fun. And we started to notice that the skies um, just darkened out of nowhere. And we saw signs in the heavens, like a, like a beautiful, vivid, huge movie screen. We saw all kinds of signs and wonders and miraculous things in the sky and the heavens and, and and they were bringing tears to our eyes and and god was giving signs and showing it was like it was in a vacuum and it was like it was it was spread out over hours and hours but it also felt like it was instantaneous within a small window if you can understand what i mean and there were other many christians thousands and thousands of christians gathered together with us as he watched the signs in the heavens and there were and there were there were millions and millions of non-christians that were around they were there were people that were already starting to to get ready like they were going to maraud and, and, and loot and pillage and rape and murder and people were wanting to come inside the area where we were in and and and, and and people didn't want them in there and it was like no let's let them in so they can come in Maybe find Jesus before it's too late. And I was scrambling around and I was going in my safe and, and, and trying to take out of weapons and ammunition and money, whatever was around that, that, that I could find around my home for people who, who need, uh, who would need that during tribulation, who, who, who it would help them to get by those who were left behind. And Christ told me, let people in and, and, and let them see what's going on and witness to them. But don't worry about the rest of the stuff. That's not your concern. Your concern right now is is, is being ready, and getting others ready. And I and I was just want, and I was just going around like like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to figure out what I was going to do. And there were all kinds of of temptations everywhere. There was sexual sin. There were there there were there were uh, Christians who were getting involved in, in sexual sin, and they were getting involved in adultery and and, and fornication, and, and and people were trying to get me involved with it. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. And there were other sins going on, other temptations, other things going on. And it was rapid fire, and all the all the signs and wonders in the heavens, and and they kept they kept growing, growing, growing with time, and and we kept anticipating that the time was upon us, that, that we were about to be raptured, we were about to be harpazo, we were about to be caught away. It was just amazing, and, and, and the adrenaline flowing, and, and the and the joy because we knew we're getting out of here there was no longer sadness in my heart like i have now for for the lost no longer my heart for the lost like i have right now and my love for mankind i, I pray every day that jesus would give me that he has as much as i can handle because i was focusing on what i was seeing it was unbelievable unbelievably real and god was giving us clues in the sky he was giving us all kinds of spiritual clues and and, and, and all kinds of, of, of christian christian uh, uh, promptings and and warnings were in the late hour, and I felt for the first time, all my rapture dreams and visions in the past, all 50 of them were generalized. This one, I specifically understood that I was in the year 2020. Now, as I've said many times, I believe 2020 is the season of the imminent rapture. <clears throat> Am I saying it's going to happen this year? No. God can make it happen anytime. But everything is escalating so fast now and so rapidly. All the signs are just, are just 
piling upon each other like a woman in birth pains. They're growing closer and closer and closer and closer every second of every day. I'm convinced in my heart of hearts this is that we are in that season. And if we don't leave this year, I will be the most shocked and puzzled and dumbfounded and, and baffled in, that I've been in my entire life over anything. That's how sure I am in my heart of hearts that we're in the season. And, and, and things are just happening so quickly in my, in my, in my soul. The Spirit are speaking to me. We're in amazing times, my friends. We are in amazing, amazing, amazing times. And then finally, it all culminated in the rapture. And then boom, I was up, man. My wife's with me. She was up. But there were very few of us. Out of the thousands and thousands of Christians, only a small handful were getting raptured. The rest were saying, no, 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 no. Take us, take us. We're supposed to go. We're Christians. They were backslidden. They were indulging in the sins of the flesh. They were ready to go. They weren't ready to go. They thought they were, but they weren't. They were left behind, and then millions of others, of course, were left behind, and, and it, where all hell breaks loose, and just all, all all sorts of just terror and horrible things happen on earth. My friends, this is the most vivid, lengthy, hours long instead of minutes, rapture dream I've had, and the first one again in years. I'm telling you, I'm warning you, I'm warning you, Jesus Christ is about to snatch his bride away. I want everyone to be ready. I want those that hate me, those that doubt Jesus Christ, those Christians who are backslidden and don't think they have to repent. I want everyone, those who never find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I want all people to come to Jesus Christ right now before it's too late. Now is the time, my friends. Today is the day. We don't have guarantee. We're not guaranteed another day, hour, minute, or second. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps I have in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much, so, so much. Look up, true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Share this video. Have everyone share it. I'm censored relentlessly on social media. Help me get the word out before time runs out. Help me share the Great Commission. I love you. Look up, true Christians. Again, we fly soon. Our redemption draweth nigh. I love you so much. May God bless you. Share. Bye.